ISIS. The horrible idea of wanting to end up with Sharia, with a religion-governed state, and that the best means of getting there is jihad. Partly a really corrupt multinational corporation, it's partly a cult organization, and it's partly a fascist cult uh, group. But its objective is a Stone Age society without music, culture, philosophy, dialectic, of any kind at all. And still preaches that these dominions can and must be extended by war. They hope to win their argument in the Muslim world by bringing it to the streets of the West. This is an unbelievably fierce challenge, therefore. As I said earlier, it's impossible for it to succeed, but it can do a great deal of damage meanwhile. A fanatical idea of mass mobilization, um, a cult of death, fortunately in some ways, because it's self-destructive, which is also true of fascism. It's irrational, in other words, as well as uh, extremely violent. And a cult of a worship of violence, for its own sake. Of course, without uh, even mentioning it, a, a fanatical hatred of the Jewish people, and uh, an attempt at the impossible, at the recreation of a lost, glorious past, um, in this case, the Caliphate. It's coming to a place near you. Um, the Qurans that are given out in our prison system to Muslim prisoners by Muslim chaplains, paid for by Saudi Arabia, are Qurans written to the Wahhabi tune. They're not just your everyday Quran. They're the Qurans that the Wahhabis want you to read, containing direct incitement. They're being given out with taxpayers' money in the prison system. Militias are forming. You will be told you can't complain because you're Islamophobic. The term is already being introduced into the culture as if it was an accusation of race hatred, for example, or, or, or bigotry, whereas it's only the objection to the preachings of a very extreme and absolutist religion. If you tell them they can't throw acid in the faces of unveiled women, they will be annoyed with you. Um, on the business of Islam, it's been proved by every society that's tried it that Islam is not a basis on which you can organize a a society. In fact, no religion can ever organize a state or a nationality. That's been proved by Christians time and again. There are many experiments going on now of different kinds of Islam. All of them are either failing or have failed calamitously. So as far as a preacher of Islam uh, is concerned, not a success.